Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. Most of you probably use Linux every day, but you might still interact with another OS, whether it's Windows or Mac OS X. If you do, you might have noticed a trend. These two systems are starting to lag behind Linux in terms of UX consistency. Let's take a more in-depth look. Mac OS X Mac OS used to be lauded for its UX consistency. Its apps looked, felt and behaved the same. They all used a global menu bar, a dock icon and most of the system features were readily integrated into third-party applications. Apple used to have a very cohesive experience, apart from the various brushed metal styles of applications. Nowadays, it's no longer true. First-party applications are now weirdly incoherent. Some applications use a title bar that flows down to the toolbar, like on the Finder, for example. Some applications use a header bar like Nomaps, such as Notes or Safari. Some use a regular title bar like the System Profiler. Some other applications don't even have a menu bar or a toolbar and integrate their window controls directly in the content itself, like the calculator. And then there is the issue of the iOS apps ported to macOS 10. As of now, there are two apps that are shipped with every copy of macOS 10, the Voice Recorder and the Stocks app. Both of these don't look at all like Mac applications. They have a giant title bar and a design that looks and feels like mobile apps, which they are. This type of apps will even be more prominent in the near future, since Apple wants to go all in on porting iPad apps to the Mac. If we go even further, we can see different app styles on a lot of default Mac applications as well. You have apps with big sidebars like the App Store, and smaller sidebars like iTunes, or medium sidebars like Apple Books. All of that is terribly inconsistent. Learning to use an app doesn't guarantee that the next one will behave the same. Apple used to be the champion of consistency and simplicity of use, but these days I can safely say it has lost its edge. Windows 10 Windows, in the other hand, has always been pretty disjointed. This has only gotten worse with Windows 10 and its successive updates. Almost every app has a different look and feel. You have Windows 95-like applications with old dialog boxes, grey buttons and old icons. You have Windows 7 type applications, like the File Explorer, with a ribbon and an interface designed for use with a mouse. And finally you have the Fluent design style, which is embodied in the settings, for example, with different highlights, some blur transparency, and an interaction model tailored for mouse and touch input. Optional Microsoft applications, like Microsoft Office, also use a very different style, using different colors from the rest of the system. Icons also look inconsistent between all these applications, some are monochromatic. The newer ones are layered shapes with a bit more color, and the legacy ones are colorful and more realistic in style and design. All of this leads to a jumbled mess of incoherent UX and weird behaviors. Some options are available in two places at once, or some Windows 10 style element opens Windows 7 style applications. Nevertheless, Microsoft seems to be willing to unify everything under the fluent design style compared to Apple, which seems happy to introduce more different UI elements and paradigms with the addition of iPad apps. Linux Where does Linux fit in all this? Well, Linux used to be the weirdo. Its interface was hardly coherent, mixing and matching applications from various desktop environments. It still does that, depending on the distro. But if you pick one desktop environment and look at all its applications, you'll find it's a more coherent and more polished whole. GNOME 3 has consistent use of header bars across all apps, menus are always in the same place, the look and feel is all changed with the system's theme, the app menu on top of the window works for all applications they ship. On KDE, the structure is the same, you get a menu whether you hide it, leave it in the window or put it in a global menu bar. The layouts look the same, the options dialog looks similar, the theme affects all applications at the same time, all widgets use the same style. On elementary OS, all default apps look and behave the same as well, without a menu bar, and their own implementation of the header bar. Lists look the same, icons are reused through the system, the theme is coherent, whether the app uses the light or the dark variant. As of now, if you stick to a Linux desktop and use its default applications, you get a more coherent experience than macOS or Windows. It might not have all the same features, it might not work the way users coming from these systems are used to, but they are a lot more easy to pick up and use since their respective apps work and behave the same way. Sure, you get some oddballs here and there, like GIMP, LibreOffice or Firefox, but if you use Microsoft Office on Windows or Mac OS X, or any Adobe program on any of these systems, you get the same disconnection with the rest of the OS look and feel. 
There's something to be said for consistency, and I never thought we'd get to a point where Linux took that crown, but here we are. So that's it for this quick reflection on Linux and other OSs. If you liked the video, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. If you really did like the video, I have a Patreon page, I'll leave the link in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!